Which is a very good map for Nine Pounders, Fearless. Death's put it best. Uh, it looks to be a very convincing one for them. I feel like FlyQuest are really going to struggle in this, especially because they look really wobbly as they try to close out their own map pick. But they've got a little one in the back. They can put it in their pocket and try and convert in two. All the pressure on Nine Pandas Fitness. Yeah, last time these two teams played back at Islam at Katowice. It was a 16-13 victory on Mirage going the way of Nine Pandas Fearless. Let's see what they show today. KDA gets first contact in towards mid. USP in hand, peeking around the corner. Gets a lot of information about this push through connector, but it's Bibian that strikes first. Yeah, good shots. Oh, even more. Bibian, it's perfect. That completely slices open any attempts the attack had. They're still through the guts here, still trying to play around the murder hole, but that's why it's called it. Mads finds Victoria, and now it's just fatal in the 1v5, and it's a mess, but it's flawless from FlyQuest. Yeah, and that's my go. Get fired up, Vivian. That was a sick pistol round. Two clean shots with it. Exactly what the doctor ordered, and a flying start here for FlyQuest Red. Yeah, exactly what they needed. A comfortable pistol. That's three out of three pistols for oh, FlyQuest Red as well. Check that. That is beautiful. Clean with it. They didn't know what hit him. And that was really all set up by KDA's information and then the positioning on the bomb site, trying to make sure they're not exposed from too many different angles. Doing us a, a little bit caught there in the connector, but it's not going to matter too much. Deep utility offsets Nine Pandas Fearless, prevents them from getting aggressive. Ooh. And that's a nice shot. It wasn't the MP9, it was the doesn't matter. It's still a nice shot. Now KDA can start to collect. Nice and easy with the MP9. And you know what? It's great to see FlyQuest Red winning these pistols. Yeah. And it's good to see that, look, we've now got comfortable rounds coming in on the CT side. Something that really eluded them in the tail end of Overpass. Sure, look, it's against Glocks. Sure, it's against pistols. But there's no kills for Nine Pandas Fearless. Beautiful. A flawless 2 0 start for FlyQuest Red. Now we'll see the real challenge as the buy comes through for the T side. AK is on out. Let's see what FlyQuest Red opt to do with these two MP9s. They still have over. Kind of want to get them maybe a little bit aggressive. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Try and offset the control that Nine Palace Fearless want to establish now. They've got the full rifles in play. Double boost up here. Going to push an extremity. Dual Beretta's out here in Dallas. That's beautiful. And here we go. The MP9s getting aggressive. Bit of an Aggie P. Pushing through the apartments. Daddy. Might get caught off guard. Oh, spotted out. A lot of damage done. The drive by tickling her and the jump on over. How does she find that kill? At least the trade is there. And it's a lot of information. Yeah, I like this from Goose Breeder, though. Are those flames going to spread to her? Potentially not. Victoria and Elizabeth, though, take space in towards short. And Matt is under a lot of pressure. Even caught out with that jump spot. Jiggles. Tries to secure, can't quite manage. She needs help. Vivian making her way over. It's a little bit late in the rotation. Good flashbang though. Mads is staying alive. Vivian does get one and Mads is able to swing. A beautiful hole just sticking around for so long, allowing that rotation to come. Victoria now fighting through. Cops and nades straight to the noggin. Shu gets two back though. And a one versus one presents itself. Both knowing where the other is. Shu creeps on board. Oh, they're so low, but it's Shu that wins it out. I'll tell you what, though. What an incredible recovery there for Nine Pandas Fearless. It looked like Mads had done enough on that bomb site, playing around, allowing rotations to come through, even finding the kill and dropping the bomb. But Shu is overwatching from the balcony and securing kills. This all starts from the extremity pushes as well. The aggression, you mentioned it came into play, but it wasn't enough. What an insane round here. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that Taddy got that kill in from the, the underpass, right? Yep. That, that felt like a position where she should never have found that, but that might have been the point. They have been able to get a buy out, but it's light on utility, and Nine Pandas, they are quick with it. Jumping on through, very passive over towards B. Vivian's going to get boosted, and four in hand, gets a nice kill on the shoe. Now she can hold the light, has the support from Mads as well, and oh, it's a little messy, but a damage done. But the bomb can get through and get planted. It can. And more casualties being felt by Nine Pandas Fearless. Five versus three. Gonna take the SMGs. Gonna drive them forward into the heart of the defense. Overwhelming potentially, but Kaoday's holding. This is looking pretty clean out of FlyQuest. Yes, it's really great. Just playing retake and well. When you can retake like that, why not? Really great stuff. And I think that was a team ace. Everyone chiming in. Yeah. 
Flawless, yet again. Three out of the four rounds. The fly quest red. And suddenly, your rifles, the maybe were Thamuses, MP9s get upgraded. Don't drop the ball. And that's really good. That's something that we haven't actually seen out of Fly Quest Red yet, where they lose a round, but they instantly reply with a round back. And important, they don't lose anyone there, exactly. because as mentioned, you know, they have no utility, not really any kits in play. Now they have everything out, bit of buffer money. Bit of a nade stack here potentially coming on through. There's a lot of HEs. Those might be thrown in towards window. Look at them go. It's almost a double kill. Chris lucky to be alive, but thankfully oh. Mads is here and she cleans up. Chu left alone and she's getting peppered on by the USP. I'll tell you what though, that's a hero play from Mads. The fact that the grenades did he find two kills and I was literally just about to say before they even threw them that it was those pistol rounds, it was the light buys that are actually making things quite difficult for FlyQuest and preventing them from really building up a bank balance, establishing that economy on the CT side. The fact that Mad swings in there, finds four crucial kills, puts uh, ends to the reign of potential terror. Now a reinvestment, an AWP out for Victoria as well. A lot of mid-presence here from the T's. Molotov 4 does force Victoria into an awkward position. Bibian caught out. Fatal over in the corner, swings on through. Victoria's still posted up with this AWP. Fires off the shot. No one peeking her just yet. You can see this a lot out of Nine Pandas Fearless, where you get Fatal into that position in towards mid, further beyond the sandbags. Flashbang will come over, and they want to isolate that fight in towards short. That's a perfect showcase of it, and it's something that FlyQuest need to watch out for going forward in the half. Oh, Fatal's the one that gets caught out though. Mads slips into the position that Vivian fell in. Victoria though strikes back immediately. Always a response from the pandas. But back and forth we go. Oh, maybe not. That felt like it was goose breeders every day, but Taddy was ready for the one way. Kelsey on the smoke on the fade. Lines them up, but can't quite get the conversion. Important kill to find if you're Elizabeth. And now Kayade in the one versus three. Bomb going to the other side of the map. She's got the cross, but it's going to be a difficult one. Unfortunate target selection. They obviously didn't know which player was low. No way Kayade can make this happen. If they go for the default plant, which why wouldn't they? Here they will. Front side default. Kayade can't really afford to give this a look in. I feel like it's very risky, the 1v3 of the AWP. Let's try and extract herself and looks like she will be allowed to do so. Important save. This means that you can drop Mads. Everyone else can buy here for FlyQuest. And you want to give Mads a rifle because she's 11 and two. Right now, hot off the presses. In Mirage, but an important stabilization, a recovery round for Nine Pandas Fearless, all orchestrated by the mid control and the flashbang play to set them up. K at eight does reveal her position, and it is making it expensive at least. But I feel like with that flash, you, you get out of there. Yeah, that one kill is quite good though to find. AWP can at least. Oh, no, I think they couldn't find it. That's actually huge. That's I, I don't they think they, they can buy up. one. Although yeah, Victoria yeah. does often go for it without the armor, so. Might be able to bring it on through, but good kill to find at the end. Let's see. Still two rounds in here. So we've got some support from Elige in the crowd. Might be a North American lifting a trophy this weekend if FlyQuest Red can continue this run. Good timeout being called as well from Flashy. You know you lost consecutive rounds in a row. You know this buy is crucial to your economy because it's one more and then potentially you'll be forced onto that eco. I want to just sow and reap the rewards of the good CT start that you have had. I feel like this fight for middle needs to be a little bit more cohesive for FlyQuest Red. Feels a little bit more individual in that portion of the map. And you compare and contrast that to the good showings they've, si they've showed on the bomb sites. No what? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah, that's not worked. Oh, she's burnt alive. Can't that's so it. unfortunate. K Day is forced off with her AWP. The hit starts to come on through, but Mads is here. K Day still playing with the AWP, darting around. Elizabeth brought down low. Mads in a good position if they do jump on out. This is messy for Nine Pandas Fearless. They're stuck in the apartments. Door in their face has been closed. 
Choose peering on over, trying to find any angle here onto Mads, but no need for the CTs to give up anything. And while well, Mads peeks up, gets the kill. Good redistribution of assets here as well. The fact that you've got Bibian in towards ladder, holding. Perfect flashbang as well, sets her up for success. Victoria next to Topple. And it's a five versus two. The quality of rounds that FlyQuest have been winning has just been impeccable. This could be another flawless round. Looking like it, there it is. Comes on through. Five alive, and yeah, the B here just falls flat on its face. Obviously a little bit of blunder towards top mid there, right? The, the smoke bounces, unfortunately goes under yeah. the mid boxes. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's so unfortunate, but Hey, there are funky gaps on these maps, and, well, fatal. It's a fatal mistake. And off the back of that, they feel a little flustered because that was meant to be, she was going to sell that mid-presence, keep them interested, keep them occupied while the hit came through from the apartments, but then the entire hit just falls flat. Yeah, and it's really good utility usage as well from Mads, just throwing the grenades because whilst it does do damage, it also just slows down the players, which allows KDA to then reposition and gets out of harm's way. Just the threat of KDA there, yeah, right, is enough. For sure. And what's important there, and something that we saw FlyQuest Red stumble on, is the fact that they overextended in the previous. That time it didn't happen. They were very regimented. Their structure was a lot more together. I'm sure they were able to find success. Yet again, it's just pistols. It's going to be an overflow through the palace. Fast play and one flashbang trying to orchestrate success. Yeah, plenty of rifles here though. Kelsey in a good position. That flashbang is actually really good. Gets overwhelmed and all no Kade has gone down as well. That's an open hand to Victoria. If there's ever a person you don't want to be holding the AWP if you're FlyQuest, it's her. She starts to edge on forward. No, falls on back. Bomb is planted. Now the CT is going to be grouping up. Still have the advantages. It's only that AWP and Victoria that's an issue. They can get past her. It's all gravy, but she's struck for another. No swing comes back for the CTs. And they might have just done it. There's no time. A palace waterfall, a couple of well-timed flashbangs, and a round one by Nine Pandas Fearless. It was one flashbang, one single flashbang, and an orc does all of the economic damage. Everyone falls for FlyQuest. And that is a catastrophic round to lose. That is what you don't expect to full favor to Nine Pandas Fearless, but they hold on in the face of adversity and still keep this scoreline incredibly close. These are the rounds that come back to haunt you. This is where you should be extending that lead cleanly after how clean the round prior was when they were up against the rifles. An unfortunate one for KDA and Kelsey. Look at the immediate ramifications. Your round before that was flawless. Nobody fell. And now you're on pistols. Yeah, you're prioritizing your utility into the next. You could scrape together a buy here, but it wouldn't have looked very pretty. Slow, calculative. Out of nine pandas, fearless. Understand the money was quite in a Unfortunate position for FlyQuest. Taking good control in towards mid. Timing on this has been superb. Yeah, Goose in the apartments could be a bit of an issue. But they actually... They are going to be going towards her with the bomb. They can just crunch onto A here. And with Shu taking space, that's likely the outcome. Flashback comes through, but Shu fell back. Bibiang wins out the fight. She's got armor. She's now got an AK. Taddy starts to move on through with the bomb. If she doesn't clear Goose here, it could all fall apart. Goose hits the shot, gets an AK, and the bomb is dropped. A smoke as well, right in their faces. The pistol Ooh. on the other foot. They're managing to steal this one away, but they have to close at 25 seconds time. The biggest issue here, another flashbang, but KDA falls. Vivian arrives and can't connect. Goosebreeder still has the bomb in her grasp. Catches off Victoria on the jump, and she's doing it all for them. Kelsey now comes on over, 10 seconds remain, and the Deagle strikes on through, Goose swings, and time, oh, Kelsey, she falls, and Elizabeth recovers it. They were just so slow there to retake over. Goosebreed is doing everything. She's bought about 30 seconds for the team to rotate over and towards market. It's still not enough. The player coming in from short was just so 
too late, so delayed. Gooseberry can't hold on for any more. But what an incredible round from her because that nearly throws a massive spanner in the works for Nine Pandas Fearless. Another round that feels like it could have been theirs. It was always a long shot, but still a little painful to have come that close. This is aggressive. Deep flashbangs potentially, and it's going to set them up for a, a walk. Oh, this is going to be devastating. Oh, it is. Goose comes through at the perfect time. The flashbang, though. Mads able to collect onto the jumping player, and the swing onto Victoria. It's bold, it's brave, and it's beautiful. Leave Shu alone. Bomb can be collected, but her teammates' bodies litter top mid. Really nice. Yet again, it's tempo setting coming out of FlyQuest Red. The objective in mind, we want mid control. It completely blindsides nine pandas. Not ready for it. And the fact that you don't actually go with flashbangs because you take the contact first. Reswinging on the position. The AWP is not ready for two targets. And this is an awkward one to pull back if you're sure the primary objective in this one for her will be economic damage. Let's see if you can find any headshots. That's a great start on towards Mad. Picking up the AWP and I think her decision is pretty much made. Just want to hold on to the sniper. <laughs> Yeah. Should be able to do so. Tried to get tricky with it, making some fake noises in towards T spawn. She jumped around, but Mads didn't fall for that one. Another high impact round from her. The Fly West do you recover. Six now about to be posted. It's a fun map. It is good. There's still concerns here, though, because look, Fly Quest have been winning these rounds convincingly, and they've been coming up with good responses. But the reason why the scoreline is so close is because they can't do it in a consecutive manner, which means that the economy is always going to kind of be on a knife's edge for this defensive side. For FlyQuest Red, for the fans out there, what you're really hoping is that they're able to post consecutive rounds on the board to give themselves a little bit of a buffer to make them feel more secure. And that's been just kind of the theme of this series in its entirety, right? That's the one thing we're looking for out of these two teams, a little bit of consistency. Victoria taking the peek. Not well, actually going to be fully peeking. Didn't have the full spawn, but speaking of it, KDA is deep in towards the underpass. Peeking on through. It's going to get first contact, but it's Taddy that comes out ahead there. A lot of damage done onto the AWP. And Molotov does not quite bounce the way it was intended. KDA just trying to get out and oh! Okay, yeah. now she's caught in the open. That Molotov was so well timed for Nine Banders. Yeah, and Shu's also dealt with Bibian. Out and towards Palace, lurking through. Kelsey gets dealt with up and over. So much turbulence in this round. It all comes off the back of a dink. Goosebreeder trying to push through. This could be pivotal. That's the bomb, and it's not quite denied. For a moment, you think Goose is going to throw Chaos into the mix once again and drop the bomb, but not going to be the case, and now it's flawless from the pandas. And this is the worry. This is the concern. You understand, surely, that, look, nine pandas won a deagle round, and then you knock them off the rifles. You made it expensive when you have pistols of your own. Surely the economy is going to be a little bit battered. Why are you going for these aggressive plays with Kaya Day? That's a little bit scary on the pass. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. The issue was getting her out of that, and also, A, being left a little bit weak there. I have opted to force into this. Mm. Prioritization of weaponry over utility as well here. Victoria expecting contact, expecting Ooh. Kelsey, but she delivers with potentially even a second headshot. Gonna swing with Bibian, but Bibian not even needed. Yeah, Kelsey's deagle just hit stiff. That's an orb that can be held onto. A rifle that can be picked up as well, although Mads is nowhere nearby, so. Now she's the one that has to step up. That bomb is making its way with support towards her. Rotations need to come on through. She is alone here. If they get into the site in the post plan, it gets scary, but peeks on through. Perfect timing. The shot doesn't quite connect initially, but she might have just done enough. Drops one. Elizabeth is low. That's the bomb known. Fatal's walking up though. Has made space into the site itself. Creeping and crawling forward. You can hear that scope from Kelsey in towards the window. 
Just trying to see if the site is clear. Creeps on through and swings on the Kelsey. A big one from Fatal. Is she ready for the second player to be in market? Definitely Vivian's hearing her, but Fatal, what a shot. Attack comes through and it's K-Day's scout that strikes. Elizabeth now in the clutch, incredibly low, and Goose comes in from the flank. Yeah, Goose was walking the entire time. That was the insurance policy for FlyQuest Red. That's really good initiative being taken as well from Nine Pandas and Fatal. The fact that she's pushing beyond the bomb site, trying to catch out these rotations. She nearly finds all three, and that would have really set the round ablaze for Nine Pandas Fearless, because that flank was a very long way out. That round had a lot on the line there for FlyQuest Red. All things considered, they'd opted to force into that. They had Deagles on two players. Wasn't what you wanted to be working with, but they made it work. Kelsey stepping up in a big way from her massive performance on Overpass. Has been a little quiet here. We saw her get overwhelmed by the pistols out of Palace. But this time around, it's her pistol. Makes its home there. Just can't call it. You just can't call this game. It's so back and forth. It's such a spectacle to watch. Good to see Mads having another fantastic game on Mirage, especially after yesterday. It was the one versus two against Shimmer that honestly really just set the map in favor of FlyQuest Red from that point. Completely broke the spirits of the other North American team. Slow start for Nine Pandas on this T side. Round number 13, default coming into play. Mid control looking to be established. Flashbangs over the top for FlyQuest, but no peaks. Yes, yeah, this is a really important round for Nine Pandas Fearless. Mads has definitely spotted out Elizabeth there in towards water. Tucked under the corner. Fatal making her way over to support. They want to swing this together. Try and fight their way forward. Mads is just playing defensive. Has a smoke ready that she can drop. Now going to be taking contact up and towards short. A little dicey, but Fatal has come around the corner. The Molotov forward, and yeah, Mads has got the smoke ready. Drops it. Now she can go up the ladder and play around it, and K&A has a nice line of sight down in towards mid. Collects one, Bibian as well. Trey comes on through. Now K&A gets up on high. A lot of information. Still two players in the sight, and Goose Breeder as well. Helping out. Taddy and a shoot. Split up at the moment. Going to be grouping up and trying out B. Yeah, got to reset, got to wait for Shu to take this contact here. But Goose Breeder, look at this angle. So difficult to try and clear here. But Shu, she'll actually just nail her in the head. Instant decapitation. That's the bomb site unlocked. Look at Mads. She's flanking through, pushing. She'll be in the back lines at a well-timed moment. Kade and Kelsey, they're going to be grouping up, coming through the marketplace. And that's where Nine Pandas Fearless's attention will be. Even shorter consideration, they just don't have the information. You can see how nervous they are. A little bit of a tingling that a player could be coming through apartments. Mads is the one with the kit, so if she goes down to the apartments, it could spell disaster. Taddy's found one, but there's Mads striking. That's all the Taddy, but Mads again. A high impact round. Yeah, that's essential as well. The Kelsey's got all the utility and starts deploying it just a couple of seconds before Mads comes through. Smoke thrown in the face. Flash is thrown into the middle of the site. Really orchestrates that push to come through. Successful retake. And the fact that it's a team effort is what gets it over the line here against Nine Pandas. Yeah, poor Goose there. It is normally a really good position, particularly in that sort of timing where you're the sole defender, but Shrew very thorough. Mad 17 kills. Now Nine Pandas Fearless. Going to be going for the pistol play into A. Kelsey is here. Has KD in support. Goose Breeder can come on through, and Kelsey topped onto the sandwich. She's the one that eats them alive. Two fall to her hands, and a fourth as well. Can it be the ace? Why not even picking up a Tech Nine to get it done? But Victoria says no. Not today, Kelsey. Denies her the 5k. Her chances of getting anything more dwindle. Utility in her face. Position known. This one a ninth for FlyQuest Red. Yep. Um much better handling of that A bomb site. Different repositions as well. The fact you got Kelsey in towards Sandwich. KOD was actually getting very aggressive, but Understands the timing, falls back off the information. Oh. That's an incredible shot out of Victoria. 
Orp will be recovered. Not the end of the well, but it's nice to see her popping off. Yeah, these deagle shots are absolutely gnarly. I think Bibian picked that. No, maybe she didn't. She still has an M4 in her little inventory there. So I don't think she actually got that in time, but I think they got the economy to invest anyway. Couple of wins in a row. Beautiful stuff from Kelsey. It's a shame she couldn't get the ace. But uh, Victoria is a difficult one to deal with. <laughs> She's happy with that one. Yeah, of course. 9-5, potential for double digits here. Oh, actually, no orb. So no orb. That's been unfortunate they couldn't collect that. Victoria's deagle shot has a lasting impact. Now her one's uncontested. Yet again, we see a player for nine pandas out deep in towards mid, but this is the adjustment. Haven't yet seen this out of FlyQuest. A push in towards ramp. Look at all the space Kelsey's got. Oh, Kelsey has everything. Question is, what do you do when you've been given this for free? There's so many options. You're obviously slightly concerned about Palace. And Gotta find the bomb. She's going to keep pushing. She'll find the bomb any moment now. Between two positions. Oh, Kelsey's going to unravel everything. The heroine of the round before, and well, might just do it again here. Drops one. Has to be careful now. Palace will come on through. But she's ducked on down, out of the way, gets the reload off. Chaos in the back lines, but Taddy and Victoria find a killer piece. Goose at least drops shoot. A lot of damage done, and that's definitely been calmed over. Now KD is the one taking the aggression. Yeah, so much proactiveness out of FlyQuest Red. Elizabeth's even just run through that molly. Nine Pounders fearless, thinking about going in towards A, dropping top mid smokes. KD's gutted out B. Surely has to get flanking soon. Doesn't spot anything top mid. You know the timing. She's going to miss these players. Oh, no, she might just spot. Oh, the timing. She's going to arrive at a really good time. The rotation from Mads as well. Everyone's going to be here. Also, because they're coming through Palace as well, Gooseberry's position is perfect. A difficult defense to break. Okay, they're going to come through. Rap. Goose steps up for a double. Unbelievable. And that locks in double digits for FlyQuest Red. They're doing it. They're nearly there. Playoffs in sight for FlyQuest Red off the back of a dominant defense. Nine Pounders fearless. The pressure, it's on them.
Flyquest Red stand on the precipice of locking in a spot in the semi-finals. Just six rounds needed. And for nine pandas fearless, it's a long road back into this series. They need to win their first pistol of the series as well, nine pandas. It's been free for free so far out of Flyquest, and it looks to be a lot faster. In towards this B bomb site, two defenders here ready and waiting to greet the T side. It's just pure USPs and armors for the CTs. Have to hit their shots. And Taddy, she's going to be at the one that steps up. Flashbang's on over, fully blind, can't find anything. Mads and Kelsey collect off the back of the double flash. The pathway through is clear. The bomb can be planted. And Nine Pandas Fearless' as chances in this pistol dwindle. And as you mentioned, no utility, no defuse kit. Very difficult to find a way in. All the utility will start to fade now for FlyQuest, but post plant's already established. Yeah, no overextension here, not giving up anything. They know time's on their side, the player advantage. Goosebreed has found another, and another. And it's all on the fatal, a couple of nice parting shots, but that's all that she'll manage in this round. It's done. Four out of four for FlyQuest Red. One step closer. And that's awesome, right? We posed that question to them against Shimmer. We said, look, your pistol rounds were such a detriment. You're allowing them to build back into the game pretty easily. What a difference a day makes. Yeah, they feel revitalized, refreshed. They're looking better here against Nine Pandas Fearless, the gatekeeping team, one of the best from Europe than they were against the North Americans of Shimmer. It is wild. It also just feels like we haven't got the same individual performances coming out of Nine Pandas Fearless. There's only one player in double digits for this side, and it's Victoria, and it's only just as well. That's on 11. Yeah, Mads is almost on double. Might well make it there. Victoria with the scout, a force investment, a pivotal moment. The flashbangs are good. Goose with the Mac 10. Oh, that's a long range spray and it doesn't quite do the job, but the bomb's planted. Aggression now in towards jungle. They collect a kill. Locking in this part of the map. Nice swing from KNA. Can't be tamed. A smoking connector denies any access and it's redistributed. Ooh. Oh my God, Victoria. That's the sort of shots she just hits. Gets an AK. That's all she'll find. 12 on the board. What more can you say? This is clean. This is route one. Direct Counter-Strike coming out of FlyQuest. I wonder if we're going to see this going forward. I wonder when the reinvestment's going to come in. We're going to keep seeing these executes. This next round will also be a perfect time to bring it out because Nine Pounders Phil has got a difficult decision to make. Are you investing with these rifles? Are you going to try and force the issue and try and get around back? Or are you just going to concede? The right call is to just play with what you've got. Agreed. If you force this and you lose, it's done. There's no way you're winning the series. A measured response. A small investment. Four players with armor. Enough to get the job done. This is sensible. There you go again. FlyQuest going to go for an execute. All the smokes lined up. All the flashbangs reined in. Only one player on the site itself. They hold off. Ground being taken towards top mid. Oh, nine pandas fearless. And now the hit comes through. The smoke's gonna land. Shu, the only one here. Flash at the moment, but able to strike a moment of clarity in the white. Kelsey dropped as well by Fatal. Chaos being sown here by the smokes, but a recovery. Kade gets one back. Victoria over the top. Bibian looking to phase through. Just walks at that flashbang, doesn't connect. And now she's spotted. Elizabeth able to deal with her. Goose has to just get out, get the bomb down. But there's Taddy pushing with the P250, and this one is falling apart. 
The half investment, the recovered rifles, but maybe KD can do it, but no. Just the one. And a six for Nine Pandas Fearless. Well, that's FlyQuest really overcomplicating and trying to reinvent the wheel. If you want to take space here, surely you've got your flashbangs to go through CT. You don't need to be going through your smokes that you set up as a wall. You've got complete control into the bomb site. Why are you throwing yourselves into the pandas' den? Now a force back from FlyQuest Red. Three AKs out. Utility low. Goose and Bibian with just the pistols. Where it gets scary. The KDA collecting on Victoria is big. That's clever. That's just instantaneously swinging, taking the contact after it's being felt by your pistol players. And that's a lot of space now opened up. And we, yet again, we've got an instantaneous reaction. FlyQuest up short going B. Yeah, Nine Pandas Fearless, they have the wrong read. They're going to get stuck over towards A. An open bomb site presents itself. And that might just be enough. That Should bomb's going to get planted. They can't go for it. Should be. Has to be a save. Got to think about the prioritization of your of your money, right? Victoria can buy. Elizabeth can buy. You can get an orb out here if you save everything. Yeah, that's a bit of a painful round to lose. All things considered. It was just the pistols on two players that Bibian getting that trade and KDA finds one kill and that's all it. Two players fall in mid and suddenly it sends the defense scrambling. They have to make a decision in a 3v4. Where do we stack? They decide for A. It's a gamble. That does not pay off. Got to compliment it. Got to give credit to it. FlyQuest, that reaction. The timing of spotting the player underpass. KDA swing in mid. You get two kills. You understand that the space is now opened up for you. You instantly look to direct yourself to a bomb site. I want that hat so badly. Production sources one. I had a hat last time. I don't know what happened to it. I left it here. Someone out there in Sweden's wearing my cowboy hat. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. A good crowd out here to support the hometown heroes. Make some noise for them. Just a few rounds away from that semi-final. Bibby, go kill. That's what she needs to do. It'd be instrumental to FlyQuest if they could manage that. Fly as duck. Yeah. Or goose, I suppose. Duck, duck. Goose. Everything in the wheelhouse here for Nine Pandas Fearless. Off the back of that save, as mentioned, Victoria on the AWP. Lots of utility as well. And Victoria is getting aggressive here towards B, but so too a fly quest. Head on collision about to take place. And the Molly oh. doesn't uh, just <laughs> really do anything. <laughs> the timing shot. That sucks for Mads. Everything was right there. The flames would have forced Victoria off, but of course, she holds on for that moment. Just to fire off the AWP. And a big player to remove. Aggression now being taken from the CTs in towards ramp as well. They know that mid is a gap. They take ground elsewhere. Yep, and that's smart. That's the right thing to do. FlyQuest now taking space in towards connector top. On smoke being put down. The bomb, it looks like it's going to make its way up towards short. So contact potentially being felt here by Goose Breeder. Trying to get another rotation off here, but it's Victoria that hits another shot. Flashbang, not really working out, but because of this position out of Goose, they're going to try and come back through. Another clear needed. Necessary. Fatal's not looking at it. Fatal. She was just convinced that someone was coming from the ramp. And, well, it's a fatal mistake. But Elizabeth was still here the whole time. But only gets the one. The bomb can still be planted. And they're making it work. Victoria comes around with the AWP. Trying to find Kelsey, who's just put in that bomb. She's locked in. Good incendiary, but Kelsey's actually fallen back away from this. Looking for the wall bang, looking for potential. Nade comes out in connector. Kelsey trying to swing off the contact, drops Victoria. It's huge and it's just on the tatty now. She gets the first. That's got to be Vivian. A smoke now. Going to be an issue. There is a kid and she decides not to stick. Wants to fight and Vivian steps on up. Bibby go kill. 
And how important is that for FlyQuest? Two steps away from being in the playoffs of ESL Impact Season 3 Finals on what? home soil. What a recovery of a round. That one had Phyllis had everything in the right position. And it's all the impact out of Goose Breeder. Fatal Elizabeth. It's a breakdown in communication. You're expecting the Firebox player to swing, take the contact, ping pong it over. The unknown entity, they wanted it to be ramp. They wanted it to be Firebox. Pick one. A collapse from the team that always looks indestructible. The team you can't put away. Well, there's a box out, there's a suitcase, and there's five of them with the panda's names written on them. Getting bamboozled out here. What a clutch from Bibian. Nearly there, but you gotta remember that it was six, seven rounds in a row for Nine Pandas Fearless at the back end of Overpass. Look what they're working with here. Sure. Up against series, elimination point. And it's just pistols. K-Day misses Ooh. the shot. And another one. It's okay. It's all right. She doesn't take any damage. Back there, warning shots. She's sending a message. I don't need to hit you to beat you. Try me. Yeah, don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mental game. Yeah. Yeah. Still the pistols. Good controlling towards mid. And that's Tati. Anything you can do, I can do better. Mads falls down, but they were able to recover from this position before. Look at the palace control as well. Take a look at this. Oh! oh! Victoria, we know how good she is on the Deagles. Fatal with another. And now Goose Breeder looking to repair the damages. Boost up, flashbang through. At least Kayade has also struck on B. Well, that Molotov's doing a lot. It flushes Victoria out. She is able to escape. And you're right, Kayade has walked on through the spot on the, on the drop. Oh, this is up. Goose is making noise. Awkward fights, get out. She needs to go back as well. Kayade is the one taking all of the ground, but she's been spotted on the bomb side. Oh, what? How does she hit that in no scope? From that distance, the flick? How is that possible? Oh, she's looking for more, but it doesn't connect. Goose has got the bomb though, and it's on her back, on her way to A. So the first letter of the alphabet, final destination potentially for FlyQuest in this round, and it needs to be Goose. Dubbed as the smartest player we've got in the impact scene. Needs to come up good with the clutch. She's going to get here well before the CTs. Bomb can be planted. And they have nothing to work with. They've picked up the AWP. Where's the kit? Just flashbangs. They know where Goose is at the very least. But Elizabeth not given anything while holding with that AWP. She comes on through. Goose holding this gap in the boxes. Over the top, gonna spot out the head. Sees the drop, a lot of damage, gets the first. And it's Goose Breeder clutching out for FlyQuest Red. And who else but Goose Breeder? When FlyQuest needed the hero, she steps up in Dallas. The Goose is loose. Forget the cowboy hat on her head, put a crown on it. FlyQuest on home soil, nearly there. And it's Kaya Day, it's the distraction, it's the diversion and the misdirection to get Goose on that bomb site. The Queen of North America reigns here in Dallas. But One. look how close that was with pistols. One round though. Nine chances. They can feel it, they can taste it. Limited util. Is this gonna be aggression? Maybe it is. Oh, but for Mads. Mads. There it is. Finds her opener onto B finally in a pivotal round. There is nobody here for the CTs. It's free. She's moved in. But is it? Because take a look at this. Whilst Victoria is holding, FlyQuest have actually repositioned over towards A. There's a player in by ramp. There's a player top middle. Oh, this gets scary. And this is the confirm of information. Take a look at Elizabeth's position right now. Now your rotates can come over. Yeah, Mads is still in the back lines. Consideration. Victoria starts to come on through and execute out towards A. The smoke's come on over. She was so close to ramp, and everybody's going to be here. K-Day's holding for the flank. Oh, misses the shot. Information gathered, but the second chance, she hits it. And now they can back out. There's Clever. still so much time. So smart. Now you let Kelsey activate. She takes the next point of contact, keeps all the defenders here, and look at the space that Mads has got on this flank. Yeah, look at Mads. She has everything locked in. Victoria swings around. She is dead. That's the kill, Mads, collecting two of the most pivotal here in this series. Kelsey drops on out, causing further chaos. Does fall, but damage done. Bomb is going to be planted on B in a moment, and Fatal has 16 HP. Chu has a flashbang. This is the moment. This would 
could be the most incredible clutch if they could pull it off. Going to be grouping up, but Molotov in their faces slows them down further still. They have to wait it. They have to respect it. Vivian jiggling the angle, waiting with the flash. Goose now gets into position to lock it in. First player dropped. It's all on to Shu. She's alone. She's taken down by Goose. And it's FlyQuest Red going through to the semi-finals. Look at that. Playoff secured. Nine pandas tamed and released back into the wild. Sent back in here in Dallas. Raw for your home team, Dallas. They're going to be there tomorrow.